Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm gonna make a quick review on today's trade, yeah? So basically, let's start, uh, let me just grab this. So basically, <coughs> let's see what happened. So let's just make a quick review on Friday, yeah? So basically on Friday, on Friday, let's see. On the gold, yeah, the gold beautifully played out, even if it was non-farm uh, non payroll news released. I was giving the, um, I was giving, let's see, first the gold, yeah, so the gold it was right here, I think so. No, that was you, the gold was right here, yeah, I was saying from this zone I'm gonna take bias. From this zone, I'm gonna say bias. So basically, that's why I took on gold. I took a beautiful trade. This one was, let's see real quick, what it was there. On gold, it was like full TP, TP, TP3. Let me see. Yeah, that's the one. It was 3R. So it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice, guys. Let's just move on, yeah, and then, oops, and then on GJ, on GJ, <coughs> oh my days, sorry guys, sorry, sorry about that, somebody just calling me, um, let's see, EU unfortunately left out us without providing an entry, and then GJ didn't retrace to our zone. So basically that was the, the Friday signal, yeah? And uh, let's see what happened today, yeah? So today I, I provided three trades, obviously. It was on GJ, Euro USD, and Gold. So on GJ I was expecting to go down and then re uh, to move up and then retrace, go back up, either to go down, retrace, and go back down. So basically if you're seeing right now what happens on GJ, yeah? I waiting for the retracement to our zone and it beautifully beautifully touches the EMA if it's gonna come back to the zone and I'm looking to still take a short on this one but guys don't don't just blindly jump into the trade wait for the confirmation my confirmation is the is simple is the break of the previous uh, candle so basically I would enter for example here I would enter somewhere here like that for example, if that would be the trade, yeah, and I would take like that 1.6, and I would take this trade, yeah. So very simple entry, it's nothing special. I like to keep the the things simple, yeah. So basically, we're waiting right now on GJ. I'm waiting to retrace back into back into the zone, and uh, and take shorts, obviously. Yeah, that's on GJ. Let's see. Uh, that was that was Euro USD. Euro USD. To be honest, what happened? Um, I took I took a short. But on GJ, what happened? I took a short here. You see, it broke this previous candle. I took a short, something like that, and I was looking forward to take these lows. Yeah. So basically, it was like a fake out or something like that. It just break above and went up, 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 came back to retest the zone, beautifully touches the EMAs, EMAs cross, literally on the zone, beautiful pin bar, break above, took this trade, the, um, how is it called, the target was those highs, the London high, so beautifully play out, it was 2.67, let's see, guys, and also, you have to journal your, uh, your trades, so on the Euro USD, let's see first. On Euro USD, it's been a loss, I think so. Hold on, yeah. No, the Euro USD has been a loss. Yeah, you see, I took a loss, and that's that's fine. But look at this beautiful, uh, how this played out. Yeah, it came literally into the zone. Everything was nice. Both EMA is going to the downside. The momentum to the downside everything was going to the downside but unfortunately something happened and 
you know that's something what every trader should know that's a tip for me nobody don't know where the where the um, where the market is gonna go only thing what we can do is just to trade at a zone either it's gonna go up either it's gonna go down either it's gonna fake above and go down that's that's the only three things it can happen yeah so basically I hit here a stop loss then I took I changed my bias I took the TP and then on gold obviously I took a loss obviously here was an enter a trade yeah but unfortunately went straight to the upside and just and just and just took me off literally took me off and uh, and yeah guys that's basically the, the breakdown yeah but if to understand yeah I literally s showed you guys like what I'm gonna do yeah I said I'm gonna take from GJ I'm gonna wait to play out to see what's gonna be to get out of this zone yeah and then on the euro USD I said I'm gonna take a short I took a short effect me out yeah and one thing why noticed guys yeah is when the price action let me grab the charts yeah uh, why noticed guys is when when the actual um, chart yeah the zone actually yeah for example only why find out but guys then again you see that's my tip for you but um, the thing is you guys have to do your own research and journal your trades because on the journal your trades you will find out the what works and what doesn't work yeah and what i found what works for me yeah for example if you notice this stuff yeah it came here and it had some small rejection here you see like big candles big candles then small candles break below this candle and basically that's my entry signal yeah i entered the trade fake me out then again like indecision candle kind of and then smash the the high so why i realized if if for example on GJ, yeah, I found out last week. Um, let me just grab the the screenshot, so I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. The GJ, the GJ. I remember that was on GJ. GJ, we buys and then wins. Yeah, that was. So basically, which will happen with GJ, uh, GJ last week? Yeah, we came here. It gave a reaction. Here I took a buys and it fake me below. Yeah, but the thing with this trade, yeah. Why, why I noticed all the time, yeah? If comes to the zone, yeah, and touches, and if provides a reaction, and I'm taking a trade and I'm getting a loss, and most likely it's gonna come back, if comes back to retest, most likely it's gonna go to the downside. Because, um, you know guys, not all the time the zones are rolled perfectly, so sometimes it can go to the downside and then take buys, yeah? So you can't just, blindly if you see it goes through the zone and then comes to retest and then you're just taking shorts no i don't work like that i need to see the how is it called the reaction out of this zone if i'm seeing the reaction of this zone i'm taking a trade if i'm taking a loss and it comes back to retest i'm just gonna take a sell but if just in case just breaks through yeah and it starts coming to this area then obviously I won't take any more buys. But if it comes, for example, and I'm gonna show you another example on the on the GJ, yeah. I think it's this one. Yeah, look at this. Oops, look at this. You see, it came here to the zone, yeah. But basically, it didn't provide me no no buys, no buys yet. So we kind of went lower than than our zone, yeah, and then break above this candle so basically it didn't provide me right here literally right here uh, entry but provide me a little bit below yeah and here I entered the trade and just went up back up so basically guys what I'm trying to tell is just you have to guys journal your trades so then you can see then you can see for example on today's today I'm up only 20.24 percent that's like nothing but then again that's trading you see I took today already two losses and one win so you know it is what it is what can i do that i'm just sharing uh, i'm just sharing uh, with you guys like my experience and what i'm looking to take and if you wanna if you wanna pay attention to what i'm talking about then then that's fine but if not then 
fair enough you can trade whoever you, you want to trade i just trying to keep it very f everything i trying to keep it very simple it just i tried ict i tried smart money i tried i think i tried everything and uh, to me the break and retest that's most common for me and it's very simple it's literally comes to the zone either you're taking an instance yeah you could grab like that and just to take the those loads very simple guys look push uh, sorry pull back push break of structure comes back to retest EMA zone everything lines up you just take in a trade very simple guys you don't need you don't need like tons of confluences and fair value fair value gaps and everything like why do you really like I just like to to jump into the charts and to take uh, my setups every single day so yeah guys I just go here like three people I don't know who you are guys but I just hopefully you are guys my subscribers and uh, I really would like to thank maybe maybe in the future am I gonna provide like signals perfect signals but right now I think that's more than enough guys that I just gonna provide the ideas so you guys can you know at least just pay attention to whoever because I'm posting here not only the trading ideas but also the results and it's nothing I, I'm not selling courses or some some stuff like that I just literally sharing just you know whoever trades I'm taking so so yeah guys took a loss on gold and then a win and a loss on euro USD and obviously at the end of the day I'm kind of break even but anyway guys you know I'm looking for maybe on GJ to take something but it depends what time is right now is 9:26 Eastern so it's 10:26 10:26 Eastern time if by 11 a.m. doesn't come back to this zone I just most likely I just won't take a trade just because after 11 a.m. guys I'm telling you right away it's not that much volume in the market and uh, I would recommend just to stay away from the market what I do really like I like this setup to to be provided like in the first in the first uh, how is it called in the first um, you see even here yeah look beautiful played out came back you could grab like here the second trade you could but man I don't really like to play tho those games to be honest I don't really like to play those games if it doesn't provide me from the first time I just rather just take a loss and and that's it <laughs> I just like to take a loss and that's it alright guys so basically that's it if you got any question guys please comment down below and I will answer and I will cover in the next topic alright see you guys in the next video